So, I want to put a bet on that Wolverhampton Wanderers will win the Premier League and the Champions League in the next five years. And no one will take that bet. And as if you've been following these videos, you'll know I've been trying to get some help in putting this bet on. And yesterday, um, it became very clear I'm not going to be able to put this bet on. It felt like I'd stumbled onto this just craziness. Yesterday, it really did feel like I'd moved into a quaint English village uh, and everything seemed very nice and tranquil. And then I said, hmm, there's no signs for the village hall. And then all the villages went. And then next thing you know, um, there are naked people dancing in front of fireplaces and I'm Edward Woodward and I'm in a wicker man. Betting's weird. So, genuinely thought putting this bet on would be a doddle. Hasn't been. Uh, I had one of the major firms contact me and say they will take the bet. The bet that Wolves will win the Premier League and the Champions League in the next five years, they would give me odds of 50 to 1. That is atrocious. That's a 500 to 1 bet, if ever there was. That's a 1,000 to 1 bet. That's they don't really know what they're doing and they're er erring on the side of caution. I had a few people contact me saying, yeah, try phoning them, try emails, try Twitter, try the apps, the website, did it all. They will not take the bet. Some, someone said, I can't say who it was because of the job they're doing, how they knew this. And they said, yeah, you're, you're going to get either no odds on this or derisory odds. And they're not really interested in things like this because they're scared that you might know something that they don't. One of the uh, other interesting things was, that was sent to me was um, open an account on any of the kind of big firms. Um, and if you win your first couple of bets, expect that your account will be closed down. Obviously, it's the betting industry. It's done in their favour. They're not charities. They are businesses. But you know what? I think they're, they're, they're really stacking the odds in their favour. And, and oddly, it seems like they don't even want to take a risk. They, they're quite happy for people to do, you know, how many red cards and yellow cards and corners and stuff like that because they've, they've got acres of data that tell them what they saw. You know, it's like big data, isn't it? They, they kind of know what's going to happen, even though they're not, they don't know what's going to happen. They've got a pretty good idea. Something like Wolves winning the Premier League and the Champions League in five years, it's, it's unknown quantities to them and they're not going to take the risk. Uh, and if they do take the risk, like the one bookies did, it's going to be derisory odds of 50 to 1. I remember, years ago, someone telling me, actually, oh, this is story time, let's go into sepia. <laughs> I'm not going to see what this looks like in sepia until I edit it, but I'm laughing at the thought of what this is going to look like in sepia. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's story time. Many years ago, I used to go drinking with this guy. Who, it's in CP you now. It's making me smile. I used to go drinking with this guy who used to go to casinos a lot. Um, and he wasn't particularly good. And he used to go along and spend his 40 quid a week and lose it. And, you know, he had a nice time. And the casinos had a nice time. And occasionally he'd win. But that was it. And he signed someone in. You had to be a member to be in this casino. Or you, a member could sign you in. And he signed someone in that he met who turned out to be someone who could count cards. Uh, and that guy walked out of that casino that night with eight grand. And the casino took them both to one side and said, yeah, you haven't broken the law, but if you, to the card counter, uh, turn up again, you're banned, you're not coming in this casino or any of the other change for the rest of your life. And you, pointing to my mate, um, you're not allowed to sign anyone in ever again. And if you attempt to, you'll be banned. Uh, and if you do smuggle someone in, um, don't expect to walk home, was what he was basically told. It doesn't surprise me. They are. They are in it to feather their own nests, of course. But I kind of, I don't know, I kind of expected that there was going to be a bit of gamesmanship. And there's not. There's, they, they, this is such an unknown quantity for them, they've just gone, no, we're not even risking it. 
So, I'll keep trying, but I genuinely don't think I'm going to put this bet on. Um, I'm trying to think of something else to do. Or I might just have to deal with the fact that Wolves winning the Premier League and the Champions League in the next five years is reward enough. Which, let's be honest, it will be.